Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today I'm going to make coffee cake with cream cheese icing and whatever ingredients you need I have written them in the description box with all the measurements. You can check the recipe from there. Whatever blender you have you can use your handheld blender whatever is available to you. You should be uh, having all of your ingredients on room temperature. Eggs should be on room temperature. Milk should be on room temperature. You can also check my baking basics post which is on my feed on Instagram. Step should be always have to preheat your oven first and then you have to prepare your cake pan before starting to make the batter. I am going to preheat my oven at 180 degrees centigrade. Then I'm going to prepare my cake pan and I'm using a seven inch cake pan. I'm going to line it, the bottom of it with the baking paper. Now I'm going to start making the batter. In my stand mixer, I'm going to start creaming the oil and sugar. On this side, I'm going to mix all my dry ingredients and I'm going to sift my flour, baking powder and salt in a separate bowl. Don't forget to scrape the sides of your bowl to ensure equal mixing. I have warmed up 2 tablespoons of water and I am going to add 3 tablespoons of coffee granules and then I am going to add milk and let it sit on the side. Once I see sugar and oil getting pale and fluffy, I am going to crack eggs and add them one by one, followed by vanilla essence. At this point, slowly start adding your dry ingredients and your coffee mixture turn by turn. Don't add everything together at once. Give bowl a good scrape so that everything is mixed well. Do not over mix your batter otherwise your cake will turn hard. When there are no visible flour streaks, please turn off the beater. At this point, you can add walnuts and gently fold them in. Pour batter in your prepared cake tin, tap on the shelf to get rid of air bubbles and wrap it with a wet towel. This avoids getting the cake a dome shape. Bake your cake on middle rack for 40 to 45 minutes. Now it's time to prepare the icing. Very simple, I'm again going to use my stand mixer with petal attachment. I'm going to cream my cream cheese together, followed by vanilla acid. And then I'm going to give my bowl a good scrape. I will add the icing sugar now and then give it a good whisk again. I have prepared some coffee in warm water. Now here you can control the level of strongness and coffee flavor you want in your icing. Meanwhile, keep a check on your cake and when it's done, take it out of the pan and let it cool on a cooling rack. I'm happy with the flavor of my icing. My cake is cooling on the cooling rack. Never ever ice a warm cake. So I'm going to give it a little bit of rest. I'm going to place my icing in fridge and when my cake is cooled, I'm going to ice it then. You can cut the cake in two equal layers and ice between and on top. For garnishing, you can use chocolate shavings or more walnut according to your preference. I'm going to use some chocolate shavings. Enjoy this cake in your high tea party or with your morning cup of tea. I hope you like the recipe. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.